coming in from there. Yeah. Okay. Because that's a public way through Sanson, isn't it? Oh, yes. Right away. Yes. yes. And from money. It right is, away. yeah. And, and from money. actually starts uh, on the oh. other side. No, it starts down at 138. Yeah. Start, it actually starts at the river. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But it will still be the way it is coming around and up the hill. Correct. Okay. It's probably going to get gated yep. with a sign and a phone number, you know, authorized vehicle only. Okay. And people can walk by it, just not drive by it. Right. Uh, it, actually, we've had uh, the last three weeks, we've had people doing donuts in it, uh, increase of dirt bikes, which we're pretty certain who it is. Yeah, the guy with the bridge? No. Creek? No. No? No. Okay. And um, actually, uh, I, left, street about it. I left you uh, an invoice for four more signs of those conservation signs, sensitive areas, so we can get them up all over the place there on uh, at least the four corners. And that way, there we can have it policed. Uh -huh. um, so, the money's done, naming the property is done. Uh, surveying the land. You guys able to have it surveyed and I'll work with them setting the bounds? Yeah, I would, uh, I would think it would be a prudent thing to do. You're interested in the big granite things? Yep, yeah. Move. What are you going to do, just four? Uh, you know, your property, because of the entrance, you, you're going to need two near Hounslope Way and then you get that narrow strip and then you get the turn point. So that's going to probably be six. Okay. Most likely six. Uh, we're going to get four around the council of two. That, that's not your property, right? That's towns. Well, okay. Unless somebody objects, I'm going to make a motion to uh, hire a surveyor, the Leno, uh, to survey the property and uh, install permanent bounds up to six. Well, second that. Well, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Boy, we got this thing going. <laughs> Okay, and we skipped the first one. Mallory wishes to be here. We skipped the first one. Yeah, I just went back, but you didn't vote on that to receive that. All right. That's it on Council Oak. Good. I'd like to jump back on to Tony's uh, new barn. I should have talked to Jim Aguirre about it, and I didn't. I, I just. Uh, we got to do something about that. We'll deal with Mr. Simon first. You want to do that first? Yeah, that's uh, on our agenda. Okay. What's this land information? Yeah. Oh, why do you have a copy of this? Hell, I, got, I got these maps behind me here, Charlie. Okay. <coughs> the garden's land value is $10,000. Wait a minute. Yeah, you guys, take one of these. Tom, this one's for you. Yeah. To keep with you. <coughs> I called Mr. Simons and told him a couple of weeks ago that we'd be interested in that property that he owns on the Somerset <coughs> site in the town line. You know uh, where the turnaround is right at the yeah. town line yeah. site? That's that piece of property. It's a uh, Got 480 feet on the highway. It's uh, four, four point something acres. This doesn't show the bounds of the property. Yeah. No, it uh, does not. This the the GIS picture I gave you does. Yeah. This does. Yeah, I have a GIS thing that I downloaded too. I have, it's in the purple on the lower left of Broad yeah. Cove. And what is red in my GIS is currently private land that we don't own and the rest you own except for the Somerset side and I'm assuming most of that town of Somerset owns yeah, the shoreline. Right up to the Somerset side. He owns up to the Somerset line. That's yes. this stone wall. Yep. Correct. Which yep. that end of that stone wall if you have a chance one of your perambulation rocks are at where we meet. It's got the S on one side D and the date, a whole bunch of dates from when they used to visit them from time to time. To I, I look at this plan that Bill left one at uh, my door. He's proposing a potential house here. It's going to be on stilts because it's in a 400 feet 
foot flood zone. And Bill looked on the property, I looked on the property, I don't see any flags. Not one flag. I see all kinds of little dots down here, some with no number, but I don't find a flag anywhere. So I don't know how the hell they did this. It says October 31, 2018. The flags couldn't have blown off in that short span of time. No. No, I was in there. But just looking at the proposal, when you look down at the aerial photo, there's a narrow strip, well, it's a cart path from the former, uh, I guess, Novitia. Girl Scouts. Or maybe from the girl, the Scouts. There's a brook, according to the gist, running from wetland flag B29 across to no number flag that's not shown on this plan. You'd have to deal with that. There's a connection between the two wetlands, that one and this one. Uh, whether he has enough land here to build what he proposes, but doesn't even show Broad Cove. It just says it's Broad Cove, but I, I don't know what the hell uh, it's all about. But he's got a proposed well, uh, supposedly a 50-foot buffer for the house, but it's awful tiny. <coughs> and I, I don't believe that he can build a house in there to begin with. He also has a septic across the street. Yeah, that's a crazy. I mean, that's 300 or plus feet to put a septic in that piece of land. Okay. You got to pump it uphill. This would cost him a fortune to build, and he'd never sell it. And 150 grand never happened, not with me. I'd die first. Yeah. 10,000, more like it. Yeah. Not that he's willing to go for 10. I might be stretched a little further, but. Yeah. What is, what's the Open Space Committee's, uh, how are they dealing with this? What is the reason that you're here? I don't think they got a map. <coughs> I don't think they know. Map or not, but I'm just asking them why as a, a representative of the Open Space Committee that missed a... Well, uh, they've got money to buy things with. They've got money to buy property with, open space with. No. No. Uh, CPC does. Yeah. Open space doesn't. No. But open space has an agenda to try to acquire open space land for recreational and conservation uses right. also. Right. You guys have a common goal. Yeah. But you're more into the dirt and plants and ecosystem, air into people being able to transit over land, enjoy the waters, the fauna. And we are too. Ecology. That's, right. that's probably one so of my you, goals too. Right, it's actually part of their master plan. It's, I believe it's part of their five and ten year plan also. Yeah. So they're actively looking for ideas to work on this. I caught wind of this project. I happened to go to their meeting, share the idea with them to see if they would be interested in being the applicant um, to pursue the CPC funds to purchase this with that the current dollar value and somebody's going to decide who's going to negotiate the actual price. And I believe we're going to need to get a, uh, not a survey, a person, a, the adjuster there. To, okay. Uh, and that, that could be funded, uh, I, that, boy, it escapes me now. <laughs> um, person that, to assess the value of the property. Um, and that, that job can also be funded, too, by some outside sources. Um, so along with the common goals of the, the open space, conservation, uh, open space is also realizes you would probably pursue this property if you had the funds, not necessarily the 150, but if you had the funds. Mm -hmm. But they also realize that you just lost it with that recent purchase with the council oak. So they're willing to step up to the plate to grab this before a house is considered to actually go there and inquire for the town land. The odds of a house going there are uh, Damn slim. It, it, it is. More than slim. It is. Yes. What, what you don't realize is from the road here to the place where the house is proposed to go is wetlands. Well, there's a yeah. This is wetlands. No, no, no. I'm not talking about the salt marsh. I'm talking about wetlands. I'm talking, well. Now, when he puts a driveway through there, he's going to put the driveway through wetlands. 
snow. Yeah. I looked at aerial photos, wetland photos, and it shows a, a break between this wetland and that marsh. There is an open area right through the property, right where he's got it drawn uh, from aerial photos. I, I walked up that, I walked up that path. Well, actually, no, there's a ledge. It, if it shows a wet, an upland area there, but when it's delineated, it could disappear. Right now, it looks like, I don't know what the hell Pro Lion used and how he used it to get this, but it's not flagged. Right. I, I don't believe it's flagged yet. Yeah. No, it's and, not flagged. And, and I think both of you are right. I, I... The most it would be is 16 feet, from my calculations, going from the gist. Right, and you need at least 20 for the driveway, right? Well, that, that, you know, according to uh, uh, the planning board, right. if we could get by with 12 as long as you drive a car over um, and if this is a wetland, it is, and not a salt marsh. I, I don't believe. I don't believe it's the salt uh, marsh is on this side. Right. Yep. The wetland is on this side. Right. And I don't believe it's affected with brackish water either. I no. think it's a fresh. That's what I, I, I think you have a unique ecology there, and it's, and very close. You got the possible uplands, an actual wetlands, the salt marsh, right not too far away. I think you got a lot of interesting things right there to preserve. Well, just looking in from the turnaround, I didn't see it. It wasn't encouraging to look further down toward the uh, uh, cove. The path is pretty and, good in there. Right? It's a pretty good path in there. Yeah. Yeah. But what I want to tell you is wow. that the widest point from this property line, the stone wall is the property line between Somerset and Dighton, but the widest point from here to here is 104 feet. That's the widest point. Well, over here, it's like it's it's yeah. it's like it's eighty. Over here, eighty, eighty, eighty. The the wettest part is over here. That's it the shows salt marsh. A, yeah, salt marsh and a, and a bog. Right. Because so we can try to buy up broad gold. Correct. So, and and also the parking area, as you know, is the existing common area for the town of Somerset using it for that trail that they're working on, uh, you're also presently working on a boardwalk also. Uh, the, the, the turnaround uh, at the town line, is, there's a deed uh, that Simons has that allows the town of Somerset to turn their equipment around in there as school buses, fire trucks, blah, blah, blah. That's part of the deed. So if you acquire this piece of property, uh, that deed with the... With, with the so that turnaround would stay there? Yeah. Have to. I, I would think so. I would think what uses that this board in particular may be interested in, you would want that parking area as a parking area too. Yes. That's one of your safer places to get off the highway. Yeah. Your property that you already own to the north is not that easy. No, no and it's wet. And it's not easy to improve either because the salt marsh is right there. You're yeah, real cross on the salt marsh. On the Personally, I, I have no problem purchasing the land. But not for the money he's talking about. It's assessed at ten grand. I, I'd be willing to. I mean, we paid thirty grand for a, a lot next door that you can use farm on. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Uh, so uh, just some quick notes. As you know, it's tied in with the Taunton River Wild and Scenic. Um, also, the tie, Taunton River yeah. stewardship is involved. Yeah. in that whole area, and which we a, could tap into them if we needed the adjuster. The adjuster is the way I was looking for. <laughs> the whole thing is in a FEMA flood zone. Correct. Probably um, is septic, too. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I can see it's a joint. Yeah, joint because group. those houses on the other side. Oh, it is, yeah. Uh, the yeah. houses on the other side of the There's highway. a little patch of land that they still own, and that's where he's proposing to stick this septic system. Right, in. here's uh, two two orders of the conditions for across the street, too, if someone wanted to look through that quickly. But not for that parcel. That little piece well, is not these were create, these, that this parcel we're talking about was part of them. That's why they were pulled up. But this has been separate. But alluding to what Jack was saying, part of these orders of conditions in relation to that, and also the other wetlands all across the street. Um, so it's a joint project, open space, recreation, conservation, 
that's what I'm proposing. Um, the, the goal with open space committee, they like to see it become <laughs> conservation land. So you guys would be the stewards, mm -hmm. be tied in with the, the rest of the project that's going on down there. Right. Um, so I'm actually here tonight to, to ask for a, a letter from this board to accept the idea of this project. You guys are willing to, you know, acknowledge the importance of it. That that acknowledgement letter of the importance of this project would go along with the application for the CPC. That's going to carry quite a bit of weight. Um, also, somehow it could be a separate letter or the same letter that you're willing to be the, the receiving of it, the mm -hmm. property and the stewards of it in the future. So all that would be trailed along with the CPC application. Um, and also, we're open to ideas for. An, an actual name for this project, so when it's referred to moving forward, we know what it is. Okay. So I, I agree with Charlie. Uh, the 150 probably ain't going to work. No, that's not going to work. But we could use that number with the application, and there's some deadlines with the application that's happening. Uh, actually, the open space is willing to meet tomorrow night, based on your decision tonight and they'll officially act on the idea for for them to be the applicants. And CPC is also meeting tomorrow night after them. So things, that's when the CPC is receiving all their project ideas to consider for the annual town meeting next fall, which would actually fund this. And it, the voters that actually decide whether or not. So, okay. But there's still a lot of homework that needs to be done. I can see that. So. It, did I really mess it up? But yeah, no, you did everyone good. understands. No. You did good. No, you you recorded. You can they probably this. all rather re see Mallory than me. I know. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So what what do we got well, to do? It's easier to talk to. What's that? I said he's easier to talk to. He is easy. I have a hard time talking to ladies, yeah. especially strong-willed ones. I know Bill on the phone told me 150 grand. I said, never happened. No, that can't be. I'll die before that happens. That can't be. That can't be. No. Uh, but uh, in the letter that uh, we we would like to, to own the land. Bill's goal has been to get the whole damn marsh, and we've been frustrated a few times, but it would be a good addition. I didn't realize how much information Broad Cove has just online. You just type in Broad Cove Dyke. There's a lot on it already. There's a lot of historic value with the indigenous people, the ecosystem, <laughs> more importantly, and then that, that piece just to the north that you guys bought that I've been mowing, you know, waiting to figure out how we're going to use it. Yeah. And we probably should decide in the near future, oh, should we still continue mowing it or not and stuff, but not tonight. But it's there's a lot of information just on Broad Cove on online there. Yeah. Well, the Aggie School is going to increase their dairy program considerably. Uh, uh, so I took them down there and showed them the field and said, you know, hey. Yep. And they got all excited, and I've never heard from them since. I, I know when we, because I've been mowing it once or twice a year. I, I noticed that. Um, there's probably a lot of plants they're not going to want growing there. You know, to save the bay people and stuff. Right. Uh, some viney stuff and whatnot. I know it'd be great for the storm surges to help hold, but it's not going to be dense. It's as they mature, there's going to be a lot of soil that's going to be exposed. So a hay crop would probably be very good, especially if it's left tall every fall. Right. Yeah. That's what I thought too. All right. So what do we lose, Jack? Okay. Coming back, I got to see his coat here. All right, uh, Charlie, can you put some kind of a letter together for Tom for sure tomorrow? Sure can. I'll leave it to uh, CC at the time so we can uh, if the If the 150000 is really bothering you, if the hundred fifty grand is bothering you, just say at a fair price in the letter. Well, no, I wouldn't mention any money. I'd just tell them what, what we'll do is that we're willing to, uh, uh, we'd like to, on the parcel, right? And, and it points point on the out property. the ecological yeah. uh, value of the parcel, and and then a bunch of piece that we own, yeah. that kind of stuff. 
you place this down, please? Hmm. Well, they all got one. <laughs> well, they don't have this one. What's this? You have to put your job. Oh, I read. I did all this. You guys didn't. It is yours. Sexual harassment. Jim is uh, right here. That's one. Uh, okay, I'll 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 do another one. You guys are done with me? What's that? Never yeah. going to be done with you. Yeah, I mean we've talked about it all we could. Yep. We'll get you a letter for tomorrow. What's the date today? 14. 14. Thank you very much, Tom. Well, thank you, guys. Is mine. Pass that down? No, I didn't sign up for it yet. So what's the word for tomorrow? One inch? Keep harassing them, Tom. Rain? Watch it. Keep harassing. Watch, Watch it. <laughs> it's, it's tough for them to decide because a lot of uh, the air is going to be very dry, so as it comes down. Yeah. Uh, yeah depends how much and how fast it well, you keep the, wet, you gets keep wet. The, uh, all I want is the signature. Okay. I, Have a good night. You just want, want the top the page? Yep. He just wants the top page, guys. Yeah, I'll turn them in for you. Otherwise, uh, you can all turn them in yourself. I'm running the wood stove, so. But you can keep what's underneath it. I don't want it. Costa Rica. Oh. Nice place to be. Well, I don't know. Most of them guys are on foot heading for the border. <laughs> They'll get fed when they get here, too. Nova Armstrong has been uh, yep. incorporated into Beta Group. They're now located in Worcester. Yeah, that's been very quite a while. I'll get that closer. Get that closer to that. You can have that yeah, one. Yeah, you can have that. I'll have this one. <coughs> okay. Let's adjourn and get going here. Uh, one thing I noticed with the change, the fellow who was here with the Yanrad tonight, yeah. Kenny uh, Nickerson. Yeah. He's got a thousand dollar or fifty three G. When I talked to uh, Marty, when it was Nova Armstrong, yeah. she said that uh, with more than enough to cover it. Well, okay. now it covered it completely. The the peer review was a grand, right on a dollar. Yeah. So I think in the future we might have to uh, yeah. get the peer Pay reviews attention. and the estimates ahead of time. Yeah, right. Yeah. Because now she's paying with a with it, in a big pond now. Yeah. Let's let's adjourn, Charlie. I mean, I can, I'll take a, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll Are you second that. A motion to adjourn? Yes. Yeah. I stood up for nothing. I make a motion that we adjourn this meeting at eight. Oh my God, ten twenty-five. Not having changed at nine twenty-five. Nine twenty-five. Oh, that's clock. still okay. Yeah. Yeah. It'll exactly. be right next spring. Yeah. Good. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.